Okay, if you guys remember, this is my pear rootstock that I ordered in. I ordered 50 of them. Not really sure what I'm going to do with them, but uh, for today, anyway, I'm going to try to graft some pear scions. I took cuttings off of my Bradford pear and a, um, I think it's called a Moon Glow, an Asian pear that I have. Took cuttings off of them this winter, but I don't think I have a total of 50 cuttings. Uh, but for today, what I'm going to try to do is just try to do five of the Bradford's. Uh, Bradford pear is one of the easiest things you can ever graft from what I've experienced and from what I've read. Um, but I can't find any of my stuff for grafting. I could have swore back when I bought the book that I also bought, you know, the, the tape and the paste and the knife and everything. I can't find any of it. But in the past, I've used electrical tape and it works just fine. So let me try to do a couple of these. Uh, I'm not going to be able to place the camera, I don't think. And really, it'd be a lot easier to do this if I had the cuttings if I took the cuttings, like uprooted them and then cut them, but I'm gonna just knock the top off here at an angle and do, um, oh crap, I can't think what the name of the cut is now, but basically make two opposing angles that are on the two pieces that are about the same size, cut a little tongue in them, uh, whip and tongue, I think is what you call it. And um, yeah, stick them together like that and we'll see how it works. Okay, so you see how I've made my two cuts. I've made my uh, tongue, on, or made my cut on the parent or the rootstock and I've made my cut on the graft here. And you can see two similar diameter pieces and two similar size faces. So what we'll do now, of course I've got to still cut my tongue, but the two pieces are gonna to fit together just like that. And then we'll tape it up nice and tight. But the whole point, of course, with any graft is that your cambium layers have to match. And your cambium is this little light green layer right here just underneath the bark. And that's the whole point of having two similar size cuts is that your cambium layers can cross up. So I'm gonna cut a little tongue right in here and those two tongues will stick together, which will help these, it'll help the graft hold together. That's the only reason you have to do it. it it's nothing to do with um, the, the way the graft actually works. The tongue just helps the graft stick together, and then in, in addition, so does the tape. Okay, so we look here. It's not my finest work. Uh, this is the first one I've done, though, but you can see where I've cut the little tongue on each one. And you want to make sure that your tongue is in the right spot, that the two pieces will, uh, will match up well. It's a lot easier with two hands, but I kind of already worked it loose, so... There, I got it stuck together. And then you just take your knife. I'm just using a utility knife, um, which my blade looks nasty, but I wiped it down real good. And then just give it a little tap. And again, you can you can look too and make sure, make sure that your cambium layers are touching, um, which this one is. So really, I mean that that's pretty well holding itself. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna tape it. Really, you know, I think it would hold itself just fine. The tape's gonna help though, and it's also gonna try to help keep this things clean and make sure that nothing gets in there, no crap gets in there. Well, there you go. I mean, really that simple. Just got it uh, taped up. Looks like a nice little, uh, well, looks just like an electrical connection, right? Which is good, because we used electrical tape. Um, but, uh, you know, make it, try to make it good and snug, uh, not so tight that you're gonna hurt the plant, but the electrical tape works good because it has a little bit of stretch to it, which is good. So if the plant tries to grow, it's not gonna restrict it. But you can see right there where my where my graft is inside. Um, probably in the future, I mean, you want to make your graft down low. You want your graft low on the tree so that when you plant it, um, you know, it's down low to the ground. It really doesn't matter. For the sake of this, I, you know, I'm never going to prune the tree below this point anyway. It's always going to be pruned, you know, about three to four feet off the ground. So it's fine to have it up where it is, really, I think. So anyway, I'm going to go through and do uh, four more of them here, and then we'll check back on them in a week or so and see. What I'm going to be looking for is to see if this upper portion leafs out. If it does, I took a little skin off of one of them. Let me see here. Uh, here it is. I took a little skin off of this one when I pulled it out of the fridge just to check because these have been in the fridge for about two months now. And you can see it, it's already wanting to scab up a little bit, but it is it is green. It is alive. Um, so with any good with any luck, it'll uh, it'll leaf out here in a couple days. Okie dokie, so that's that. I got five done. That's what I wanted to do for now. And uh, we'll check back on them here in a week or two, whatever, and see how they're doing as far as leafing out. But y'all remember this is that rootstock that I got from Rain Tree Nursery, and I'm looking around at it, and I do believe every single one of them survived the transplant. So that's good. That's excellent. Yeah, but I got some pear here, and then over across the yard over there, I've got um, some apple. And I think some peach, I think, I can't remember. I know I've got some apple and I've got some apple cuttings in the house. Um, so I'm gonna try to graft a couple of those too. Um, but for right now with the pears, you can see I've got them, got them grafted up here. And like I said, we'll just check back and uh, we'll check back and see how they're doing.